So the last video I did, I talked about small presses, gave you a little bit of an introduction. Today I want to talk about things to look out for when you are assessing a small press and if it's the right fit for you. The first thing I want to address is that a publisher should never ask you for any kind of money, any deposit, any payment of any kind. Publishers, small or traditional, make their money through royalties. So if a publisher is asking you for money, say for editing services or something like that, then it's really a vanity press in disguise as a publisher. And vanity presses, they don't really care about actually promoting your book and making sure that it sells. They just want your money. They want to make a quick buck. But a small press, they will take a percentage of the royalties and you will get a percentage of the royalties. So because they are taking a percentage of your royalties, they will have a bit more of an incentive to actually try and sell your book because they didn't make any money creating the book. They make the money after it's already been out. So when I first learned about small presses and started researching ones that I would want to submit to, one thing that I found that was super helpful was the suggestion to go on the website and just check out the cover design. If the book looks good and looks comparable to a bigger publisher, then people are more likely to buy it for one thing and it also shows that the publisher is willing to put a bit of an investment in your work before it's even on sale. So if you look on their site and you see a lot of really nice covers or at least covers that look respectable and don't have like odd Photoshop lines and stuff like that, then it shows that they are willing to put in some effort before the book is even published and that's what you want because you want people who are just casually browsing on Amazon or something like that to see the cover and want to buy it. A lot of people, myself included, when they see a book that has horrible Photoshop, they might just keep scrolling. It's very rare that I'll pick up a book if I don't like the cover. I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but that's just the way life goes, man. The next thing that you might want to do is also just check out the other books that they have published. One way you can do that is by purchasing some of the books, or if you don't want to go down that route, even just downloading some samples of books that are in the same genre as the one you're submitting. Reading previews of other books in the same genre, reading previews of other books that were published in the same year kind of give you an idea of what quality the writing is at, what the standard of the publisher is, if there's a lot of typos or just poor sentence structure. All those things point to the overall quality of the books. Obviously, no presses are created equal. There are some that are doing outstanding work. There are others that are not. So just be aware of that and just submit to the ones where you think, just judge off of a first impression, that they are a little more thorough. Another thing that you can do is research about these presses. One thing that I did when I was submitting to Nine Star Press, because I had never heard about them before, I googled their name and I included the word scam, I included the word fraud, just to see if anything popped up. And nothing popped up. I even went and looked on this blog called Writer Beware. I couldn't find any information about them on that. Writer Beware is an amazing resource. They have basically all the tea. And unfortunately, there are some publishers out there that are doing shady things like withholding royalties or publishing things that they don't have the right to publish anymore and all kinds of things like that and writer beware is pretty good at being on top of all of those problems and so you can look up specific publishers and see if there is any information about those on there. One final thing that you could do to vet this small press that you want to submit to is just by following them on Twitter, following other authors that have been published through them on Twitter. Doing some social media research is always a good idea. There are definitely ways to check out and make sure that they're A-OK. -okay. You can also search the publisher's name on Twitter and see if people are speaking out about them or if people ever have spoken out about them. And just to give you an idea of what is going on with all these places. So those are some of my tips for vetting a small press. I hope that you found this informative. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.